Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and tonight we are going to be doing an overnight brisket on the pellet grill. Can't go fishing tomorrow, so we figured I would do a little cook for you guys and let's get started. Picked up a USDA Prime. It's about an 18 pound brisket from my local butcher. If you guys live in the Sarasota area, Alpine Steakhouse, probably one of the better places to pick up meat at. Always prime beef. You could get choice at like Costco or something, but I seem to do better with the, the prime bis. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but definitely better product in the end. Now you won't wanna rinse your brisket, but you wanna try to not get all this juice everywhere. I did put this in the freezer for a minute, for probably about 20 minutes to try to get it a little bit easier to carve. And you wanna wipe it down, get some of these juices off of there. Now we're gonna trim this pretty aggressively. Try to get it a little more streamlined for the cooker. I usually like to start on the back sides. You can see there's a little bit of silver skin that we got to take off, maybe a little bit of this fat. We are going to trim probably fairly aggressively through here. We're going to save this, make some burger out of it tomorrow, maybe for lunch while this is cooking. Get rid of this. All right, we'll start with a little trim in here. Now we're gonna save some of this fat. We're gonna smoke it on the grill tomorrow. And render that down. Let's see, I get rid of some of the silver skin. Sharp knife really helps. as you want with this but most of this is probably fine on here but we'll put a fat to the render we're gonna get rid of this guy though any of this stuff that won't render down and you're not gonna eat it later so just get rid of it now like I said, we're gonna make some, render this down. Look at that marble in there, how nice that is. All right. Flip. Now this guy right here, if you leave that on there, all that's gonna do is burn. Get it kind of where the smoke's going to easily roll over it. Any of this kind of ugly looking fat, we'll trim that a little bit. You want to leave a little, about a quarter of an inch. When they package these, the heat from the packaging kind of makes this meat kind of look a little bit ugly. So what you want to do is take that off. That way you can also see what kind of fat you're working with. You get that trimmed down and streamlined. said you're going to want to try to get it as 
nice and aerodynamic as you can so the smoke just rolls over it and you don't have any pieces like sticking up so we're going to trim this guy too because that'll just burn and won't be any good I'll probably probably go in through here trim all that up make some burgers out of that tomorrow Tip. If you put, like I said, if you put this in the freezer, it makes it way easier to way easier to take some of that fat off. Put it about about a half an hour in the freezer. Scalped it. All right, so there's our trim brisket. That's pretty, I said to scalp it a little bit there, but that'll be all right. Now, for a binder, usually go meat side down on the grill, so we'll start on the meat side. This is a W sauce, Baron Burton's W sauce. You can use mustard, you can use all kinds of different things, but you don't need a lot. Just enough to get a little, everything to stick to. And I like to start with the salt. Some people pre-mix a little bit. Um, exactly how much salt I'm putting on. Black pepper. And garlic powder. Flip that over. And our W sauce. All right. That's seasoned up. Now we're going to get the Pellet grill going, and we'll get that on for an overnight cook. We'll see you when we go to put it on the grill. Okay, so here's the trim brisket, seasoned up, getting ready to go on the smoker. As you can see, the salt is starting to penetrate. It's starting to get a little bit juicy in there, which is what you want. I'll get you on the smoker in just a moment. Sorry, it's a little dark out here. So we're gonna put this on the top shelf. The fat side towards the flame. We are not gonna check on this or do anything until tomorrow morning. Morning everybody. It's been about 11 hours since we put the brisket on, so we're going to take a look at it. I haven't checked it or done anything. 
did check the pellets. This was full last night, so after 11 hours, it went about halfway through them. So we'll top that off a little bit. And the beef tallow is on here. That looks good and smoky. Did put a smoke tube in here last night to get a little bit extra flavor. Here is our brisket. A little bit of pork right here. Get that out of there. Check the temperature. We are at 165. This is basically where the stall is. It's 75 down here. That's cool. I'm gonna turn this around. It's about time to wrap. Good color. That's rendered nicely. get a wrap all right for the wrap we are just going to do a foil boat I'm not going to wrap it all the way I'm not going to use butcher paper this way it uh, keeps the bark on the top and still keeps it moist on the bottom so let's take it off back guys we just took the brisket off of the smoker we had it on all night didn't check it didn't do anything to it had it on 225 until this morning so probably about after 11 hours and then I did a foil boat on it just to keep some of the moisture in there and it's looking pretty tender that's some nice bark fat rendered out really good so now I've got the oven on, the warming setting, so it should uh, be about 150 degrees. We're gonna wrap this, double wrap it in tin foil. And let it rest for, I don't know, probably five or six hours until we're ready to eat. Get some of this goodness. Way to rest. See you back when we're ready to carve. Okay, now that our brisket is rested, check out and see how we did. It's nice and tender. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. All right. This is the flat. Ooh. Plenty juicy. Look at that. Point. I'd say that's pretty good. Oh, maybe a little bit overdone. Well, not too bad. Got a good pull. That smoke ring. Nice. Mm. Definitely nice and juicy. Let's 
see how we did on this. Who said you can't get a smoke ring from a pellet grill? Even that is really joicy. Well, friends, thank you for watching to the end. Next time I do a brisket, I may do a few things a little bit different. This was only my second time cooking a brisket on this pellet smoker. The other few times I cooked one, it was on my big green egg. I'm always trying to improve, so let me know what I could have done different. If you'd like to see more videos from my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and click the like button. It really helps my channel to be able to create more videos for you. If there is a recipe you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments. Also, please share my videos with your friends. Until next time, stay safe, cook something good if you can't go fishing.